Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. I want to explore different new locks of companies that are commonly used here in Germany. And I want to start with an Everlock. I got it from a locksmith for 20 euros and it's brand new of course. Before I want to show you this lock in detail, just a few words about the company EVA. EVA is an Austrian company, not Australian, Austrian company, and it was founded in 1919. And the letters EVA actually means Erfindungsversuchsverwertungsanstalt, which means something like Invention, Experimentation, and Application Institute. A well-known lock um, is for example the 3KS. So now let's have a look at this particular lock. It's a 5-pin pin tumbler and you can see that the bidding is, is quite good on this lock. Two very deep cuts protecting the last stack here which is a, a very shallow cut. And when you look at the keyway, you can see that it is curved and very narrow. So I've prepared some picks to demonstrate the different um, uh, access methods. This, for example, is a Sparrow's uh, triple peak rake and it's uh, uh, 0 0.6 millimeters thick and when you when you look at it um, you can't go in with that it's it's too narrow here at the curve you have to go in at an angle at, but here you cannot uh, cause too much uh, uh, too much to the to the pins you can't depress them um, only a little bit so I think you you won't cause any effect here, uh, and particularly not uh, with that bidding. I have another rake, it's a city rake from, uh, from Peterson, and here you can get into a little bit deeper, and it, it sounds very promising actually, but the problem is when you, when you apply tension, you will uh, quickly see what's the problem. Now I apply tension and the pick gets stuck. Because now when the pins uh, are binding, you cannot um, get it out because you, you cannot, you, you cannot um, move it upwards into this direction to go over the pins because the pins are, are set and uh, cannot, cannot go any, any further into the, into the Bible. And so this is really, uh, yeah. Maybe it's, it's uh, possible to some extent, but it's not uh, really helpful. Then we have uh, picks. This is a Sparrow's uh, shallow, yeah, so it's a, it's a euro, euro hook, shallow euro hook. It's uh, 0 0.6 millimeters uh, thick. And you can go in there and you can also go in and uh, follow this, this curve. But when you go in a little bit deeper, it's get it's getting um, yeah, it's getting harder to to get around the the curve, also to uh, to go um, into the into the holes is a little bit uh, problematic because you need to go in at an angle because of this curve, and the further you go in, the harder it gets to um, to follow that curve. So it might be possible, but it's very, yeah, it's very hard. It's very um, cumbersome. Then I have the thin Peterson hook. It's the hook number seven. It's 0 0.4 millimeters uh, thick, and you think you you can go in there and 
follow that, that curve here. But if you go in a little bit deeper to reach the, the back pins, it's, it's getting more and more, uh, yeah, it's getting harder to, to get around uh, this curve here because the, the pick gets, gets uh, wider towards the end. So this is also not really uh, comfortable and I didn't manage to uh, pick this lock with, uh, with that hook. So regards the, regarding the picking resistance, um, this lock uh, provides a very good measure because of the uh, very thin and curved keyway. But I have another uh, Euro uh, hook, it's from Sparrows and it's uh, 0 0.4 millimeters thick and with that hook you can go in and also follow that uh, first curve and access the pins very nicely. So I will use uh, this hook and its brother, the deeper one in order to pick it open. Here it's clamped up in a vise. Works nice and smooth and is locked up. I already removed the other part of the lock just to save some time when I got it afterwards. I apply tension from the um, from the opposite side of the pins and use a thin hook from Sparrows. Just check the pins, pin by pin, and it's not a lock with tight tolerances, so it's forgiving if you don't follow the true binding order. And got a false set. Okay, one spool is set, and touched another pin and dropped into a deeper false set. So now I know from previous picking experience that I need a deeper hook to set the remaining spool. But I don't get it in because the tension wrench is in the way and there is not enough room. So I change tension wrenches, wrenches and now I can stick my pick in. I have to work around that curve. I think it's the last pin. Maybe I got it, but something something dropped, so I changed tension wrenches again. Got a full set again. Got it. And just like before. Now let's see if I can set the last spool this time. Hmm. Maybe, but something has dropped again. Not really sure if everything has dropped or what's going on here. Full set and it's open. All right, so this time I got the spool, something has dropped and yeah. Then I set the remaining pins. All right, so now let's quickly gut it and look at the pins. So here's the lock. Um, I lock it back up just to easily uh, easier remove the clip. Okay, clip is off. 
Need the pin board. All right. So follower, follower. Okay, here we go. Very nice pins. Nice and shiny. You can see the finish is not all the way uh, done to the plug. Um, the just or oh, not not the finish the, the coating. The coating is uh, only here on the on the surface and a little bit inside. They uh, didn't do it all the way uh, on the plug. But the pins are, are very nice. So the shear line is is clear. It's uh, it's smooth. And uh, the pins are, are flat, and the, the the plug is round, not not flattened. All right, so let's dump it out. Or it was actually three. Last one. All appear to be standard. Nice pins. Look like uh, high quality or well made pins. Now check the, the drivers. One is uh, standard. Two is standard. Three is a very long spool. Four is a smaller spool. And five is another spool. Okay. Get the springs out. All springs are very long and uh, powerful. Uh, made from steel, I guess. So here is the pinning. Oops. Here is the pinning. All standard pins, uh, except uh, three, four, and five. The drivers are spools. Three is a very nice long spool, and four and five are a little bit shorter. We have uh, very strong and uh, long mm. spools, which uh, causes, um, yeah, which makes it not so likely to, to overset pins. So that's the pinning. Then when we look at the plug, um, everything's smooth in the chambers here. Um, one interesting note, you can see the gap here um, at the surface here and the two holes. I think they can, um, can be populated with anti-drill pins and with an anti-drill uh, half moon. But as this is uh, uh, the cheaper version of the of the locks, I think they they uh, yeah they left it, and so this lock is um, yeah can can be drilled. So there is no no drill protection. And what else? Let's have a look at the Bible. All chambers are smooth. Nothing special. But we can see that there are actually six holes. The shorter end has has five holes, five five chambers. So I think they they just make uh, six holes um, if it's if it's long enough. And and five holes holes for for the short shorter version. Uh, let's quickly uh, reassemble the plug. To check the effectiveness of the of the spools, I only do that for uh, the three stacks with the spools. Actually, that was three. All right, so we can see. Oh, sorry for the focus. Yeah, we can see that number 
5 is a very effective spool, it's deep inside the uh, chamber of the plug. 4 is not effective at all, uh, the shear line doesn't uh, touch the thin part at all, and 3 is a little bit effective. But we can also see that the surface of the drivers is not flat, it's, it's tapered, and this explains the, the feedback when I touched one of the pins after I reached the first full set, and the full set increased a little bit. So that was the effect um, of completely setting uh, one of those uh, pins um, from the from the tapered part to the yeah, to the end part. Okay, so that was the Eber Eurolock. Very nice uh, angled keyway, but not too bad to pick if you have the right tools. So thanks for watching. Happy picking. Bye bye.